All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk about Leon Edwards. This may be a long video, maybe a short video. I don't know. I haven't decided. What I am going to do is I'm going to give some attention to Leon Edwards that he deserves. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, how many times have I talked about uh, Leon Edwards? If anybody wants to see like one of the best videos I've ever done, okay, go look up. Just actually search Jesse on fire, Leon Edwards, and it's the one where I said like it like he's lost his mind or he Leon Edwards has gone crazy, okay. Because I painted a blueprint for how this guy could have gotten an enormous following, like an enormous following. But now that I've heard his real story, he doesn't do any. He doesn't need to do any of that stuff. Like he doesn't need to do any of that stuff. All he has to do is just sit in front of a camera and go, "Hey, so let me tell you the story of Leon Edwards. Let me tell you what I was doing from age zero to age twenty-five. You know, because like, dude, his story is bananas. And like now, I feel way more connected to his journey. That's the thing that people don't understand, man. For some reason, people do not understand this. Get in front of a camera and tell people your story. Let people know who you are. If you're a, if you're an outgoing, you know, boss on the mic like Chael Sonnen, Conor McGregor, me, you can just get in front of a camera and just do your shtick and they're gonna be like, I feel like I know that guy. It's very rare that people have mic skills like that though. So if you're not that, tell people your story. Turn yourself into an open book, okay? And as an, like Leon Edwards, as an example, as alluded to, I'm sure in the title, I'll say something about, I don't know, what, like, I mean, his story's been in it. So, I mean, the craziest part about his story is his dad was a gang leader who got murdered when he was 13 years old. I mean, that's a crazy story. So, okay. So Leon Edwards grew up in Kingston, Jamaica. Now, those of you who are like initiated into kind of like gang culture globally know Kingston, Jamaica is a super dangerous place. Like if you're in the gang world in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica, that is a war zone. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, it's like growing up in East LA in like the middle of like a, you know, a Sereno set or whatever, where like each, each, each block is at war with the next block. That's literally exactly what it's like. And he actually said that too. And his dad was a gang leader. Okay. So that's his beginning. He lives in total squalor in, in Kingston, Jamaica, but his dad's a somebody. His dad's a gang leader in Kingston, Jamaica. His dad brings them to England. He moves to some other ghetto in Birmingham. And and then so, you know, you got Leon Edwards in, in like a young kid's gang. You got his dad who's from all intents and purposes. I mean, he never directly, actually, no, I think he may have actually directly said it. His dad's a drug dealer, okay? Like his dad's a gang gang leader, drug dealer. And then when he's 13 years old, his dad gets shot in a club and gets murdered. Like, and then Leon Edwards remains in a gang. He gets the name Rocky because he, was, he fought so much in his gang. Like, dude, he's a tough kid, man. He's not just like a mixed martial artist. He was like a, he grew up hard, you know? Like he grew up hard and he grew up real hard without a dad because his dad got clipped. So like, you know, I'm not saying that like gang violence is cool. I'm saying that that's a story that you can attach yourself to. You're like, geez, this, this kid came up hard, man. Because we, here's the thing. There are people with really boss mic skills. There are people who are, just, who are like good. You know, they're like, they're good and outgoing. There are people who are like, yeah, you know, whatever. And then there are people who just for whatever reason, like you put a microphone in front of them and you put a camera in front of them and they just, they just kind of shrink or whatever. It doesn't say anything about them as a person. You know, Stipe Miocic is that way. Leon is kind of a shrink for the camera guy. He, you just tell like, it's just not his shit, man. It's just not his shit. He doesn't like, it's just not his shit. His shit is training, getting better at fighting, and then putting people in the dirt. So, you know, it's, it's valuable to be able to talk on the mic when you're a fighter, but it's not mandatory. It, it'll be much better for your career. I mean, given the, the, the wins in a row this kid's rattled off, had he had better mic skills, he would have been a bigger star earlier. But the bottom line is, he's got depth to him, man. Like, his story is bananas. It's, I mean, come on, dude. A, a, a gang, a gang kid, a black gang kid from the United Kingdom whose pops came from Kingston, Jamaica, got killed in a nightclub, and he was like a... He said, he said that he did things when he was younger that he, he's like, it feels like I was a different person and I try to work my best to, I try to work my best to overcome those things and be, and, and, and uh, pay my penance, be a good person now. What do you think he's talking about? You know, like if he had to hypothesize what he's talking about as a gang kid growing up in England with no dad who got murdered, 
And he's saying that he did things before he found MMA where he is trying to be a better person all the time now to make up for the things that he did then. What do you think he's talking about? You think he's talking about getting in a fist fight? You know, he did things. Oh, yeah, I got a, you know, geez. The guy fights for a living, okay? He's not talking about getting in a fist fight. He's talking about something else. And I wouldn't uh, speculate publicly, but I can just put you guys through my thought process, which is he's not talking about fighting. He's not talking about fist fighting, at least. You know, you don't need, like if you're a fighter, you don't need to make up for fist fights by being a good person, right? There's, I mean, just saying. So, I mean, those are his words. I'm just walking you through my thought process of what that probably means. So, he's got some depth to him. He's an interesting dude. You know what I mean? Like, I, that, that story makes him more interesting. It just does. Okay? Like, if, if you're a person who's like, you know, I grew up and my dad loved martial arts. And he had me in martial arts when I was a young guy. And, and you, I'm talking, you have no mic skills. You're just kind of like, yeah, yeah. And so, I've just always loved martial arts. They're like, all right, so why do we care about what you're doing? I love martial arts. Nope. No, that doesn't do it. Why? Tell me why we care. I, I don't know. I'm, I have a fast kick. Mm -mm. No, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. I need to know why I care. Um, well, I've won three in a row. Really don't care about that. Like, really don't care about that. What else? Uh, I would love to fight the number four guy. Come on, guy. Don't care. Don't care. What do you got? Well, I beat that. No, 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 no. It's gotta be something to him. Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, Conor McGregor, these guys, or a guy who's got a story, Francis Ngannou. Does Francis Ngannou have like vicious boss mic skills? No, he has the best story ever, 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 ever. He has the best story ever. And he could decapitate you with his finger. But Leon Edwards has a great story too, man. He is beating the odds right now. I, for one, am not rooting for him in this fight, but only because he's fighting against Nate Diaz and I can't root against a Gracie kid, you know, a Caesar Gracie kid. So, you know, I'm hamstrung, but I am rooting for him in his career, but I'm definitely rooting for Nate in this fight. So we're clear, but I don't know. He's got some depth to him, man. I'm glad that I found that out. So that's what I've got, son. If you like the channel, Subscribe and ring the bell if you get really upset about the things that I do on this channel because I just you click baited something. Just you click baited something. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Let me tell you something, okay? Figuring out the catchiest thing that relates to your video and then making that the title, that's just smart, okay? You can call it clickbait. That's just being smart. I'll tell you what, you try it. Okay, clickbait idiot. The, you know, the, the ones who are like, clickbait. Here, you try. What would you title it? They're all, I would have titled that video, Leon Edwards has a great backstory. Actually, that's too good. <laughs> that's too good for you. It's too good for you. You, crybaby. What would you have titled this? Um, Leon Edwards came from Kingston, Jamaica. Oh, well, that's why you don't have a channel. Aside from the fact that you're probably not that good on camera. But what else you got? Oh, I would have said um, eight in a row. He ain't no little hoe. You definitely couldn't have come up with that. Definitely, 100% could not have come up with that. That's a good one. Maybe I should start rhyming. You guys are going to get mad if I start rhyming all my titles? Is that going to make you mad? Is that going to make you mad if I rhyme my titles? Pussies. Anyway, love you guys. Peace.